you guys, Erin and Liv here and welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. We are about to whip up some smoothie bowls and some baked goods and we are off for a day at the beach. We thought it would be very fitting since we're heading to the beach today to kind of share with you what we take healthy, family-friendly, kid-friendly, plant-powered snacks. We're gonna get right into our lean green protein smoothie. It is protein-packed, rich in iron, healthy omega-3 fatty acids, as well as plenty of healthy carbs in the form of our favorite tropical fruits, mango, pineapple, and banana. Almost all gone. So this is our favorite, favorite go-to protein, the vanilla warrior blend. So this is a pea, goji, and hemp blend. So I love the Beauty Greens Collagen Booster from Sun Warrior because it has all organic ingredients and the fact that they don't use any horns, hooves, or hides. It is totally vegan. This helps your body produce more of its own collagen as opposed to stealing from an animal. It is my favorite time of the week. Yes, I say week because I order these bulk medjool dates almost weekly. This is a five pound case. So these are amazing for baked goods, which we are making. So I was really in need of some more dates. So we're gonna make some super, super good muffins for the beach, sweetened with dates. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, now we're both mic'd up. How do you feel about this? And we're both wearing pink. Oh, how so cute. And we're gonna kiss, we never kiss. There you we go. We spent the whole morning <laughs> arguing. Max and I just got back from the grocery store and I could not pass up these super pretty lilies. I'm gonna put these in some water and I'm gonna rinse some berries. We just talked last week about how we start every day with the green smoothie. It's like a multivitamin in a glass. Always have some kind of oat to follow up, whether it's oat waffles, oat muffins, oat brownies, just plain oatmeal, but it's got tons of iron and protein. They're delicious. And then fruit. We eat fruit all day long. So that's what we're gonna take to the beach. In a weird way, I almost kind of like when they like sits in the sun at the beach and it's warm. The frequency from the sun actually activates your water, but Fruit is like, what, 90% water? Yeah. We as humans are like 70% water. So the sun activates us as well. It's gonna bring the life force back into your fruits and veggies that have been literally like sitting in boxes and crates. Yeah. It's gonna bring a lot of that energy and life force back into it. And sitting in the sun for yourselves. You know, this is why we long for that. I was doing a meditation last night while I did some stretching. She was talking about picturing yourself in your favorite warm place. And she kept mentioning the sun. And I'm like, yeah, seriously, who doesn't love sitting and soaking up the sun? Think about animals. Erin used to have cats. And it's funny, I've seen these videos on social media too, where the cats literally follow the sun around the room. They just want to be sitting in the sun. Even Bo, before he passed away, he would go and lay in the sun. He's a big Bernese mountain dog and he was black. And I'm like, aren't you hot out there, buddy? But he would just have these day times, these mornings especially, he would go out and just lay in the sun. How pretty, aren't these unreal? Finding good flowers is kind of hard. We have better luck picking our own flowers in the yard. I hate to say, but usually flowers at the store are pretty granny, but these are really pretty. It's all about life force. It's all about energy and, and love and light and magic and beauty. And so we're planting flowers, picking flowers, eating colorful foods, spending time in the sun. And that's why we all love spring and summer because that's what it's all about. So that's why we moved to Florida so we can get as much of that year round as possible. Before we take off for the beach, something I do almost every day is go on a flower forage. I just can't even believe that's real. It's just so insane. I need to get better about learning what the varieties are. This one is a sunset, which is incredible. The bougainvillea, 
in this like fuchsia magenta like we've got a bigger vine on the other side of the house that i like to pick from and our lang lang tree that i found us on facebook marketplace here is one little baby lang lang there's more up high but i can't reach them and these are plumeria also called frangipani in hawaii got my little lang lang here are our passion fruit so last year we only had a couple this year we've got a couple hundred. I just can't believe how big our papaya trees have gotten. So my hands are loaded up. We've got Plumeria, one of the most amazing fragrant flowers. And I have our Lang Lang, which is our favorite smell. This one is actually an antidepressant as far as aromatherapy goes. And we've got Alamanda, our hibiscus, and our bougainvillea. Right here is mandevilla. So there's aromatherapy, but there's also chromatherapy, right? And that's mm -hmm. like color. That's kind of what my Instagram account is based upon, more so than food. It was all about color. Just so happens that raw living foods happen to be a big part of color. <laughs> Make yourself a colorful smoothie bowl or a colorful meal, a colorful salad. Get yourself some fresh picked colorful flowers and try and tell me your mood doesn't automatically shift. Do you like Lang Lang? So I am just making a simple, straightforward muffin recipe for the beach. So the base is always the same and then I sometimes add in like a flavor or a fruit like wild blueberries or extra bananas to do like a banana bread blend. But the base is always three and a half cups of rolled oats one tablespoon of chia, one tablespoon of flax, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a pinch of salt, half teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of baking powder, a scoop of Sun Warrior. Today I am using their vanilla birthday cake, which is the plant-based superfood protein plus mushrooms. Then I add in two ripe speckled bananas, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and then my pitted dates for date paste. I have pitted about 18 dates right here and they're soaking in some water. First thing I always do is blend up the oats, chia, and flax to make our flour. Then I add all of the dry ingredients to a large mixing bowl, give that a little mix, and then I blend up the bananas with the dates and their soaking water to make the paste for the wet ingredient. And I add in the apple cider vinegar as well. Mix everything up, put it in our parchment lined muffin tray, bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. Usually I'll check it at about 27 minutes with a toothpick. The hardest part about doing this is that I just want to eat the batter. And the nice thing about not having raw eggs is that you can do that. But seriously, the kids too, like we just want to eat the batter. Whether it's the brownies, the oat bake, the muffins or the waffles. I can't remember if it's in there, but we have a chickpea cookie dough recipe that might be in the app. I can't remember if we added it. And Dusty is going to make his super simple, is it two ingredient frosting? Three ingredient frosting. And we found some sprinkles from Whole Foods. We're gonna call these cupcakes, not muffins. I've been making this kind of a lot lately, maybe too much, but it's so, so delicious. And we're gonna turn these muffins, like Aaron said, into cupcakes. So the kids are gonna be fooled. They're gonna be eating something that's super nutritious, but they're gonna enjoy it like it's birthday cake. So I do a two to one ratio. So I'll probably do about two tablespoons of cashew butter, one tablespoon of syrup, and maybe like a quarter teaspoon or a pinch of this vanilla bean powder. Mix it all together. We're gonna spread it on top and then we're gonna put sprinkles on top. The kids are gonna gobble them up and they're gonna get big and strong and healthy because they're so, so good. We are adding dad's homemade frosting and sprinkles. Sprinkles! <laughs> For our protein birthday cake cupcakes. It's so pretty. Another 
favorite. If you guys have been around here for a while, you know we love the Sun Warrior Liquid Light. It's full of electrolytes, trace minerals. It's a fulvic acid complex. So these are trace minerals that honestly we're not getting from the soil anymore because the soil is depleted, but they're gonna help us with all kinds of bodily functions like energy, keeping our cells healthy and happy and hydrated. just chatting with our membership group on Friday in our one of our weekly live zoom calls and we were talking about how many healing modalities in this life are free and we experience all of them so profoundly in Costa Rica but here in the States I feel like everything has been packaged into some type of man-made product or gadget that they make us feel like we can't live without and yes Dusty and I are guilty of collecting many of them we've got our red light machine which simulates essentially the sunrise and sunset. So if you can get outside and observe the natural sunrise and sunset, it's going to have the same benefits. It's like I'm basically dripping right now, getting my sauna on, and then I can go do my cold plunge in the ocean. Instead of doing a salt bath at home in the bathtub, I'm receiving all of those salty, good minerals directly from the source. The most important critical thing here is presence of mind. So if you can be aware and be present, these things can actually change you and heal you. Color and scent and just like engaging all of our senses, I feel like it's definitely easier to do in nature, outdoors, and with food as well, especially raw living food. I've got this bowl full of berries I can't wait to dig into right in front of me. And I definitely feel like every morning when I go out to pick flowers from our garden or pick out my outfit. I'm just continually drawn to color, especially during these spring and summer months. I literally feel like as a person, I feel in full bloom, especially having just given birth to Zoe. So being in full bloom, it just makes me think of a vibrant, colorful flower. And I try to bring as much of that into my day-to-day -day existence as possible. I brought my Lang Lang flower, which I had mentioned earlier in the yard. In Costa Rica, these trees are everywhere and we stick them up our noses. These are nature's antidepressant. Likened to eating that vine ripened tomato as opposed to the store-bought picked early. So do your best to get out in nature and find things at their source. So here's what I think is cool. I'm sitting back here behind Erin, probably like 10 or 15 feet. And when she is talking about the Lang Lang, I can actually smell it. When she opens the container of berries, I can actually smell it. My mouth starts to water. And I feel like the more time you spend in nature and the more raw, healthy foods you eat, the more sensitive you get to all of it. You know, your, your taste buds become more sensitive. So you don't need super salty food. You don't need super sweet, sugary food. Your sense of smell becomes sharper. I'm really excited for the kids because they are gonna be equipped with this knowledge. You know, whether or not they continue to eat this way or, or veer off and eventually come back, they know how to make smoothies and they know what these healthy foods are and they know how they feel when they eat good. And so I feel like we've been we've done them a huge favor. And so to you guys, you know, not only for yourselves, but maybe for your kids too, you know, think about how getting in nature, getting back to nature, eating raw, whole, un unaltered foods, how good that can be for you, for your kids, etc. We just feel super blessed to be here at the beach, living this life. Um, it's it's so amazing. It's so fun and we're just thrilled to be able to share it with you guys Feeling super good. All right, you guys post beach. We are all Showered and fresh eating some leftovers surprise surprise We made Indian last night Indian is our favorite, but this was a new one I opened up one of our favorite Indian cookbooks and made a new recipe so this one might have to show up on the YouTube channel. It might have to go in our recipe app 
as well if you guys want new Indian recipes or any new recipes definitely go and join the membership if you like conversations like we had today like Aaron being fascinated with colors aromatherapy chronotherapy like all of these things how they play a role in your life in your health in your mood you need to join the membership too because this is the type of stuff that we talk about on our weekly live chats they've been so fun they occasionally get a little bit out there they occasionally are just us chatting meeting new people and that's why we started what we did and we're loving it so if you guys are digging on what we are doing and you want to support us definitely join the membership within that you get our app you get all the ebooks we've ever created plus the most important thing is you get the community you get the accountability right now we're doing a 10,000 steps movement challenge soon we're gonna do a rest challenge and we've got a super special giveaway for that so you guys don't want to miss out this is where we are spending more and more of our time is with our private club. So join us there if you like this video and you wanna see more like this, or there's anything you do wanna see that you haven't in a while, comment below and let us know. We're gonna finish our dinner. Erin is chopping, surprise, surprise, a colorful salad. Much love you guys, I'll see you next week.